In this video I will show you how to replace a rear wheel bearing and rear wheel seal on 1999 to 2013 Chevy Silverado 1500 trucks. These steps are similar for 1999 to 2013 GMC Sierra 1500 trucks, Chevrolet Suburban, Chevy Tahoe and GMC Yukon. Park the truck on a level surface, place blocks in front and behind the front wheels. Raise the rear of the truck using a hydraulic jack to the proper height and place jack stands under the frame or at each end of the rear axle for added safety. Loosen the plastic covers that hold the wheel center cap with a ratchet and a 22mm socket. Once they are loose, remove them by hand and remove the wheel center cap. Remove the wheel lug nuts using an impact tool and a 22mm socket. Once the wheel lug nuts have been removed, remove the wheel completely. Remove the bolts that hold the brake caliper using a ratchet and a 13mm socket, and, if necessary, use a 16mm wrench to hold the pin to prevent it from turning. Secure the caliper using rope or wire to keep it from hanging on the brake line. If the truck has drum brakes, remove the lock washers with pliers. Insert two screws of the correct size into the holes as shown in the image and tighten them so that the drum is released. Remove the two bolts that hold the brake caliper bracket together using a ratchet and a 19mm socket. Remove the brake disc by pulling it out with your hands. Place a container under the differential to catch the oil that will drain from removing the bolts holding the differential cover. Remove the bolts holding the cover using an impact tool or ratchet and a 13mm socket starting with the bottom bolts. Remove all bolts except the last one located at the top. Insert a flat chisel or flat blade screwdriver between the edges of the cover to pry it off the differential. Once the oil is drained remove the last bolt and remove the differential cover completely. Place the transmission in neutral, rotate the drive shaft that connects the transmission and the differential by hand in such a way that the bolt that holds the pinion pin is visible. Remove the bolt using an 8mm wrench or ratchet and an 8mm socket. Then remove the pin by pressing it from the back and pushing it out as shown in the image. Turn the drive shaft by hand in such a way that the tip of the wheel axle is visible as shown in the image, and from the outer end where the wheel goes, push the shaft inwards to be able to extract the C-clip that holds it in place, remove the C-clip using a screwdriver and a magnet as shown in the image. Once removed simply pull the wheel axle out and remove it completely. Pry between the lip of the seal and the differential shaft tube using a flat chisel or a flat blade screwdriver or use a seal puller to remove it. Remove the defective bearing using a bearing extractor similar to the one shown in the image. Fit the tool on the inside of the bearing and pull outward by tapping the counterweight to remove it. Before installing the new bearing, wipe the surface with a clean towel and proceed to install the bearing using a tool similar to the one shown in the image, tapping with a hammer until you hear a change in the sound indicating that the bearing is fully seated. Install the new seal using a hammer and a short piece of wood, tap the wood until the seal seats properly as shown. Lubricate the new bearing using gear oil. Lightly lubricate the wheel axle with differential oil and insert it carefully without damaging the seal. Install the C-clip that holds the axle shaft in the corresponding slot with the help of a magnet and a flat blade screwdriver. Once the C-clip has been installed, pull the axle out from the outer end where the wheel is mounted so that it returns to its corresponding place as shown in the image. Turn the drive shaft again by hand in such a way that you can insert the pin and have space to install the bolt that holds it. Use blue Loctite on the threads of the bolt and make sure it is tightened correctly. Cover the inside of the differential with a towel. Remove the gasket fragments that are stuck to the differential using a metal scraper. Remove the fragments of gasket that are stuck to the differential cover in the same way. Install a new gasket or use high torque RTV silicone without leaving gaps as shown in the image and proceed to install the differential cover. Install the bolts and initially hand tighten them. Finish tightening the differential cover bolts using a 13mm socket and ratchet. Tighten them in three stages in a zigzag or star motion as shown in the image. On the last stage tighten them to the specified torque shown in your owner's manual. If you used silicone, wait for the manufacturer's recommended drying time. Remove the filler plug using a ratchet and a short 3 8 extension. Lower the truck or lift the front end of the truck so it is leveled. Fill the differential up to the base of the fill plug with the differential oil recommended in your owner's manual. When you see that the oil begins to spill, install the filler plug, making sure that it is tightened correctly. Install the remaining components in the reverse order they were removed making sure all nuts and bolts are properly tightened. 
That's how simple it is to replace the rear wheel bearing and seal on 1999-2013 Chevrolet Silverado and GMC Sierra 1500 trucks.